Is this going to replace my favorite? I'm a little nervous. It is a Ganga. This shade is perfect under my brows. I like it. Hey, Sephora. How you doing? I'm going to go to Sephora and just get another shade for this concealer because it's just... Oh, the shade is just killing me. What up, it's your girl Minna. In this video, we are going to be going over the new concealers from Sephora. I got two of these. These are the best skin ever. Full coverage, multi-use concealers. I'm curing my hair right now. So I'll take these off in a little bit. I have my gel and got to be situation, you know. It's curing, all right? All links to what I use will be down below. I'm gonna do my foundation, primer foundation, and then we'll get to the concealer and talk about it and then discuss the finished look. Make sure you subscribe, follow on Instagram and TikTok as well. And let's just get started. Oh my gosh, and before jumping in today's Fragrances Mugler Alien, this is the Eau de Parfum Intense. I have the other one. This was set in PR, so good. Make sure you're putting on our fragrance, ladies. Notes are on the screen, link is below. So good. And we spray heavy, all right? Ain't gonna be no reason why you can't smell yourself. Spray heavy. Use your fragrance. <laughs> okay. Okay, so you know I like to go dark with my foundation because when the whole face comes together, it's just gonna look how it needs to look, okay? So in case you're wondering, that is why. I'm gonna use the Y color, which is yellow, as my highlight, and then I'll use the N color under my brow. I just like how that looks. So this is 57 Y, and ooh, I like how thick and fat the applicator is. The Dofa, oh, this looks good. Oh, this shade looks good. I like to be golden yellow in my highlight. And this is not too light. I like that a lot of product is coming out. I can't stand concealers where when you pull it out, like the NARS Radiant, I know is so popular, but even when I was at the event in with Sephora at Kohl's and the NARS rep was asking me what my faves were, I I told him and he understood that what I can't stand about that NARS Radiant, Creamy Radiant applicator or component is that not enough comes out of it, it's annoying. So I like how thick and fat <laughs> this applicator is. And I like that a lot of product comes out. This is blending nicely. This is a full coverage, natural finish, long wear concealer. So that's good, you know, I love full coverage. I actually am running out of my Lawless concealer. So this is perfect. Is this gonna replace my favorite? I'm a little nervous. I am definitely a creature of habit. So it makes me nervous to feel like I'm gonna be changing things up. Oh my God, I do love that this is golden. Wow. Here's a close up. How does it look? Ooh, mm -mm -mm. let's go. These freaking pimples on my face again on my nerves. Now this is very golden. I'm looking at it now, I'm like, yo, the lowest one I be using, it ain't this golden, but I'm okay with it because it's gonna warm the face up. It looks really good. I should have gone lighter. The goldenness is cool. Cool, not not in tone. Cool like in it's great, but I should have gone lighter just to brighten. Ugh. Okay, I literally almost mixed it, but wait, we're doing a video just on this concealer. Not gonna mix, going to keep it the way it is. I literally picked up a lighter color concealer to try to lighten this up a little bit. Okay, let's push this back, do my contour, finish the face, and then talk about it. Although, already, it is nice and creamy, and I do like it, I just picked the wrong shade. Okay, so what's about to throw me off is this. I use a golden powder. This is dark 4G because I like to bring the goldenness to my face when I put on my face powder. Wondering why I use a face powder? Watch my video on face powder, we'll link it below. I wanna grab a different powder, but I don't have time to go and get it. Kinda hurry up and leave. 
because my concealer, my highlight concealer is golden. So normally the contrast is what I love on my face, but a golden concealer and a golden face powder just doesn't go for me because it's just too much golden. You understand? I like for there to be a contrast. So I'm gonna go to Sephora and just get another shade for this concealer because it's just, oh, the shade is just killing me. Okay. Okay, so eyebrows done using the Charlotte Tilbury Brow product. And this is the color in the same concealer, 59N. So I always put some in the back of my hand. And already this is looking good. It is looking good. I'll link a brush dupe to this one right here below because I love using a flat synthetic brush like this for my under brow, under my brow. All right, this color is looking good. Of course, under the brow, you might prefer to use a thicker concealer. If you want to, let's say, cover any darkness under the brow area, which I don't believe many of us have, but you can choose to use something thicker. I've used NARS Amand in my brow. I've used the Kevin Aquan's Is It Sensual Skin Enhancer Concealer, which is nice and thick. And that's also good because sometimes with the liquid concealers, it's annoying to blend under the brow. But this shade is perfect under my brow. This is great because I usually use Clove from Lawless, which is still good. This one is good because like I said, I'm running out of those two. And now I'm gonna blend with this Real Techniques Deluxe Crease Brush. Okay, blending well, it looks good. It looks good to me. I mean, what do you think? I like it. Hey, Sephora, how you doing? Setting this with a Laura Mercier Translucent Honey Powder, okay. And this is a Sigma E28 brush. The look is finished. As I said, all links are below. My hair is not completely dry, but it's gonna just have to be what's gonna be for right now, cause I gotta go. I like how the look came out. This is my soft glam look that I always do. I meant to show you more. Oh, I forgot my mascara. Jesus, lamb, see? I be forgetting about a mascara. Overzealous, lawless, one and done mascara on the bottom. Always gets me together. I love this because it don't take much for it to really come out and give me the thickness and the fullness that I need. I love when my bottom lashes look thick and full. I don't want them looking light and natural. Nope. I want it to look like I have bottom falsies on. Like, come on. Okay, now the look is done. Okay, so the look all came together, right? And that's the thing. At first I was like, this concealer is way too golden. It's just not gonna work for me. It all came together. Now, would I like it to be lighter and brighter? Yes. So what I'm gonna do is keep that color because I may wanna use it to mix with another concealer that is perhaps too neutral. You know, the chemistry of it all. We, we always talk about this and that's why I like to over explain, explain things so you can understand that perhaps you don't need to return certain things. You can mix. I'm not someone that always loves to mix, but I do love to make things work. There's a slight nuance, a slight differentiation between the two of those. I'm gonna keep that golden one, cause like I said, sometimes I do want a little gold and something, something. But I am gonna go up, so the golden one was 57 yellow. I'm going to maybe, I'll look and see what the numbers are, 56, 55, whatever. And then I'll do both of them and see how that looks. But I like this concealer. Let's do a little closer so you can see. I 
like it. Are there any mistakes on my eyes? You know, you're really up close and personal, so you can tell me. <laughs> I mean, I naturally get creases, so I'm not expecting for there to not be any creases. I mean, this is just a natural face, a natural eye. It just is what it is. But I do like this concealer. Have you tried it? Do you plan on trying it? What is your shade? I want to know in the comments below. Thanks for watching this video and give it a thumbs up. Let me know what else you want to see. I've got ideas, but I always love to know what products you are interested in me trying as well. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.